Hey everybody, Kevin here with Your Best Groove and Groove Tutorials, and in the next seven minutes, I'm gonna show you how to connect SendGrid to GrooveMail. But before we watch the video, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the videos we're putting out here at Groove Tutorials. All right, let's get right into it. How to connect SendGrid to GrooveMail. The first thing we're gonna do is click Start for Free, and we're gonna sign name email address. This is just for your account, for your SendGrid account itself. All right. And I'm going to put in a password. Okay. So I'm also not a robot. Continue. All right. So you got an email or you got a code. There we go. All right. So your phone number, copy this. So you have this code in case you ever need it. And now we're going to go back and sign in with that information. All right password is also not a robot so you can now write great and so we've got your name your email your company name and the website and give me that number again okay great all right so once we get logged in and we get confirmed we're going to create a sender identity and in order to do that we have two ways to do it the first one is by email address so this is going to be your name your email address are you is this the one you want to send from with groove yeah Monica, okay and we'll make the the return the same company address nobody's going to see this in groove this is only going to be seen in SendGrid. okay and this is going to be for sender sender has been created so you are now going to get an email at this you need to click a link to verify it okay now the second thing we want to do is we want to verify your domain so after the email is authenticated we're going to click on sender authentication and we're going to get started with what's called domain authentication so get started which domain hosted from Cloudflare anytime we're using Groove and would you like to brand the link yes that means that any link inside your email will be branded by your domain instead of just saying SendGrid. They translate all of the links to a different link for the email address. And then when they click on it, it goes to the one you originally put in there. Okay, so the domain, next. So type in your domain, click next. And what we have then is depending on your settings, it's gonna give you a list of DNS records that need to be added to your DNS. So we're gonna take these records and we're gonna add them to the DNS inside of our Groove domain by clicking the DNS button. We add record and the first one that we're adding is a C name. So we go over to the type, we choose C name, and then we have two columns, the left and the right. So we just copy the left column, paste it in the left column, copy the right column, paste and save. We're gonna do that for each record. So once you have added all of those records, you come back into SendGrid and you click, I've added these records and verify. And it worked. As long as you have all the records, it's going to say it worked. And we now have both your email address and your domain set up as authentic senders. By the way, this sometimes says failed, even though you verified it. So we can, we can disregard that for now because the main thing is as long as we have the domain we can add any emails from that domain into Groove. What we're going to do next is go into Groove and go into Groove Mail and go into Create Senders, New Sender. And we're going to choose SendGrid as our SMTP driver. Now it's going to ask for an API key so we're going to go back over to SendGrid and we're going to go to API keys, create API key, full access. We're just going to give it the API key name sender, create and view. We click it to copy it and that's what we paste in the API key over here. And then we copy while we're here, we copy this webhook and at the top we're going to click on business info to enter your company name and address. Inc. Okay, address again. Once we do that, Groove is going to send an email to your sender email address and that email will ask you to click to verify. While you're waiting for that, 
you can go back into SendGrid and we have one more piece that we want to do which is under mail settings and we're going to click on event webhooks and we're going to create a new webhook this is going to be groove sender this is where we're going to take that webhook URL which if you if you didn't copy it you can go back here to actions and click get webhook URL copy that we paste that in here under the post URL and then we click open clicked unsubscribe bounced and we save it and that's it the only piece we haven't done yet is you need to get that email from groove and click verify if you don't get that email in the in 30 minutes or so you can use this actions and click resend verification email if you still don't get it then you will have to contact support to get that email but that's the final piece once you get that email and you click verify in your email senders instead of no it'll say yes and you will then be able to start sending email with this sender I hope you found that helpful and remember to like and subscribe for any other videos we're doing here. Also, don't forget to check out the Groove for Growth Academy where you get access to live Q&A, over 250 short, complete, concise, up-to-date training videos for Groove and more. Check it out at yourbestgroove.com academy. Until the next time, let's keep grooving.